Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel. And uh, so how is the Patch Tuesday updates rolling out since yesterday? They seem to go quite well in general. Uh, it's a big bunch of uh, patches to install, so um, it can take anywhere from you know 15 to uh, minutes to an hour in some cases. Here I would say the install phase took about, if I you know, include the download and preparation before it installs, probably took about 40 minutes in total. Um, once again, it contains a high number of security fixes. Um, quite a few of them are critical, meaning that they have to be fixed because they uh, are uh, really bad. Um, any notable problems that have been seen, um, the major the one that I see the most, uh, the one that people have actually talked about the most is uh, people that use the Windows subsystem for Linux 2 in the May 2020 update. And and um, I've got it on the uh, version, the fall update here. Uh, some people seem to have um, noticed that the uh, subsystem for Linux is actually... Uh, broken in some cases. So if you're a um, WSL2 user, it is possible. It gives a um, weird uh, package error uh, for some of those that uh, are trying to get it. It is probably one of the biggest problems that I've seen yet. Uh, for the rest, the update seems to be rolling out for most people correctly. Um, of course, it's a big update, so uh, sometimes it takes a few days for some of the uh, major issues to appear, but uh, overall, it seems to be running well. Once again, if you're on the May 2020 update, you're at 1904.1.508. And, uh, of course, all the previous versions up to October 2018 are getting it, so uh, it's a really big uh, patch Tuesday. Once again, this is mandatory. A lot of people saying, can I uh, wait I don't, you know, I don't recommend waiting on Patch Tuesday security updates for a very simple reason. They are extremely important because once the Patch Tuesday updates actually show up, uh, bad guys start knowing, actually get the information required to know where to look for security holes. If you're in uh, Enterprise, Enterprise has quite a few uh, pretty high level critical flaws that are uh, to be fixed also. Uh, one regarding uh, Windows Server, one regarding the uh, Exchange uh, Exchange Server. Um, there's a patch there. Uh, there's quite a few little things. SharePoint has a patch. A lot of uh, you know used uh, services in Windows in Enterprise are actually getting critical fixes here. So it's important to uh, check it out. But the rollout for now is going pretty well. Um, you know, in general, I've seen very, I don't see more problems than the average level of problems. Once again, you know, you got to be careful because there's a lot of, uh, a lot of talk of problems. Um, and people think that it's, you know, there's a high level of problems with a certain update, but very often what's happening is that, uh, remember that the ones that are complaining are always the ones that have problems. And even if, you know, just a half a percent have a problem. Well, half a percent in the more than 1 billion Windows 10 devices is a high number of people. Um, even though it's, you know, compared to the number of people that have problems, it's small. So we got to be careful with that. But the rollout seems to be going well right now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.